perfect. No. I had to move the camera back a little bit because it was too close to the table. Welcome back to the cooking tutorial show, the series I'm going to milk for who knows how long. Anyway, school's starting up in a few days, so why not make a little family recipe that's been handed down for years, it's gotten world famous, a good old fashioned peanut butter and jelly. So. Let's, let's get right into it. First thing you're gonna need are the very simple ingredients. You're gonna need your bread. After that, you just tie it up and put it away, cause you know, that's what you do, or else people are gonna be like, why is there bread on the table? So you just eat. Landed by the blender. <laughs> Alrighty, next, you need your peanut butter and your jelly. This isn't jelly, I don't really know what it is, but it tastes like jelly, so we're using it. And then, you're gonna need a knife to spread it all out and close all these stuff that was behind me. So yeah, first off, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna lay your two pieces of bread out like this. Just simple old bread. This one has a hole in it. <laughs> so, then, in whatever order you want, just spread your peanut butter and your jelly on it, you know, like, just like that. Remove that, just, just like that. Be sure not to slice your fingers open, except using a butter knife, so. Yeah, so that happening are very slim. Perfection. Alrighty. So, you thought we were making a normal peanut butter and jelly sandwich, didn't ya? Well, you're wrong. Uh, we're gonna continue this tomorrow, cause it's dark out. Alrighty, a few days later, we're back, and someone threw away the sandwich. So I have to make another one. Alrighty, so we have our all of our ingredients laid out. I'm gonna make another sandwich. Um, we'll be back in about soon, once this is done. So, uh... Man, there were probably so many continuity errors in that transition. It's gonna be unreal. Alrighty. We have our sandwich remade here. Alrighty, so where we left off, we had our sandwich. So the next step is gonna be take your uh, trusty one of these things and just give it a little. That way it'll fit in your lunchbox all nice and well. So that'll flatten it out and now it will fit in your lunchbox a bit better. Alright, next step, you're going to want to take your, a little bit of water, and just sprinkle it on there, that makes it nice and soft so you don't, are at less of a risk of choking on it, and the final, final few steps, you're going to want to take a candle, set it on top of it, leave it there for a little bit, Pick it up, set the candle back over there, and the final step, you're going to want to take a fork and... Alrighty, it's ready. Time for the taste test. What you're going to want to do is just... It, it's just... It, it's food. You eat it. It's very flat. No, literally. It's very flat. That was a horrible joke. I'm gonna finish chewing. Oh, there's one step that I forgot, and that is... Here it is! Just gonna wanna... Not too much of this stuff. Nice little bit. There we go. Perfect! Look at how amazing that looks. Mm-mm. Alrighty, time to... Take a bite. Delicious. <laughs> I feel like how to base it. <laughs> Alrighty, time for an actual bite. Get this. Uh, ew, get that out of here. That didn't go in the garbage disposal. There, get that out of here. Alrighty, time for a real bite. Just. Uh. 
That's foul. That's really bad. <coughs> ah, thank you all for watching this episode of the cooking tutorial show. Uh, this, I feel like this was a very underwhelming episode, so we're gonna finish it off strong by adding soap. We're gonna clean this off. Just gonna make sure you're just gonna clean it. Alrighty, perfect. Oh, <laughs> God!